I was appointed to Flinders Council in 1966 while I was on the staff of Adelaide. Uh, so the Senate of Adelaide elected the council. And uh, one of the other uh, sisters on the staff uh, put my name forward. <laughs> oh dear. And anyway, to our immense surprise, I was elected. Everybody was longing to get their candidate onto the council, uh, you know, of a new university. And I think all the ones who were longing to get their person on probably gave me their second vote because they thought there wouldn't be any possibility of my getting on <laughs> with the result that I collected, you know, a, a lot of votes. So I think it was peculiar. Well, first I, I wanted to be a, a Sister of Mercy. That was the beginning. At the time, uh, education, I was advised, was the greatest need. So I loved teaching which I didn't do for terribly long, but I was appointed a principal at a very young age of 27 <laughs> of a big school, very much like the adolescent age uh, that, uh, you know, the last years of school and the beginning years at university, or the students are very interesting people. One of the nice things was that, uh, that I was retired when I started as Chancellor, which meant I had more time than most other chancellors have. Uh, so what it meant was you were able to be involved with all the schools and anything that was going on, you could actually be involved with them. And uh, so I, I really did do that. 